What's going on YouTube? This is Strange AI, and today we have the PSA return number 14. If you saw my uh, my last return video, number 13, um, you'll know that this is going to be a miss, yeah, miss, mishmash of three different subs. Um, basically, the reason I did that was it just it's going to make me uh, it's going to make it easier for me to list. So instead of going through one sub, two sub, three sub, doing videos, I can go through one, list them all do another video, go through all this small, and then et cetera, et cetera. Just, just works out easier for me. So have to prioritize the business over content at the end of the day, which sucks, but just is what it is. The content doesn't pay the bills. So let's jump into this. 100 cards as usual. Looks like we're going from like 07 to probably 09. I know you didn't see any of the cards because you just saw a tower, but yeah. All right, first up, we have Shining Darkness. PSA 7 Lugia. PSA 7, but it's a nice card. Should we should we jump into... Ooh, looks like I'm putting some condensation on there. It might be a little steamy right now. Yeah, I guess that mark down there, whether for me or PSA, would make it the 7. I don't know. I'm just going to rub my finger across the lens here. Wave it off. I almost feel like my video has been kind of blurry lately. I don't really understand that, but who knows. And then to match the Lugia, we have the Shining Darkness. Hello, oh, in a seven. Lucky sevens, right? Yeah. Uh, we have Palkia Level X, eight. Flygon, eight. Nice orb there. Got the Bulbasaur, nine. I'm going to tilt back just a tad. I was out shooting a video today in the garage and adjusted this. I, I really honestly need a better stand at this point. I'm like 100 videos in. I feel like there's probably no excuse for it. But we got a Shining Darkness Dark Rye level X9. We got the Ho O -Oh this time in a 9. Nice orb on that one, too. Suicune, 9. Do a little zoom in on Suicune. I think it deserves it. Got the moon in the background. This is one of those cards you'd like to see, like what it would look like uh, non hollow. Got Charizard, nine. Ooh, swirly boy on him, huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm not a big swirl fan, but uh, doing these videos has turned me into someone who sees them. I'm just like, oh, swirl. Speaking of swirl, swirl. <laughs> This is actually a crazy hollow on this one. This is a good card. Ampharos 9. And then we're going to double up on that. We got another Ampharos 9. Another crazy hollow on this one. Wild hollow pattern. Lots going on. All right. We got the Dark Eye 9. Very dark card. Nido King 10. This is a good card. He's, uh, he's hanging out. I don't know if it's at the beach or what. Got Venusaur in the 10. Blastoise in the 10. Would have been kind of cool if we would have got the Venusaur, Charizard, and Blastoise in 10. All right, next up, we got Secret of Lakes. We have the Meganium 9. Swirly Boy in this one. Oh, man, I love this artwork. We got Sfeel, PSA 9. Uh, they're just uh, hanging out. Happiest Sfeel ever. Other happy boy. Just, yeah, this feels really cool. This this, this card confirms. <clears throat> we got Typhlosion, 9. Luminion, 9. It's kind of a slept-on card. I mean, I don't think many people really like Finion and Luminion, but, I mean, this is actually a really nice card. Got to show the Pokemon that aren't that loved some love. We got Magmortar Level X, 9. Ooh, here's a nice one. We got the Raichu Secret of the Lakes, 10. Oh, man, look at this guy. Isn't that a beaut? That's a nice card right there. And also, we got the Celebi PSA 10. Also a nice card. Look, yeah, I'm getting swirls everywhere on these, huh? Really big orb on that, too. Oh, also from Secret... Oh, we got a couple tens yet from Secret Lakes. We got the Garchomp. This Garchomp's kind of... I don't know. He just... I guess he's just hanging out. I don't really recognize that art, artist who... 
Kazuyuki Kan or Kano Kano. I don't know how many other cards they did, but definitely ain't it. not really my favorite style. Got Agron ten. Slash. Alright, next up we got Dawn Dash. Oop, there's a drop of card. Got the Latius, eight. Leafeon, nine. Crazy hollow on that one. Might be why these get nines a lot, because there's so much hollow space. We have Gardevoir, level X, nine. Can't seem to grade a ten of this for some reason. Uh, we got Trico, nine. Glaceon, level X, nine. Nice one here. Jolteon 10 from Dawn Dash. Love that they did all the evolutions in uh in Dawn Dash and Moonlit Pursuit. Ooh, speaking of Moonlit Pursuit, here we go. Uh, we got the Houndoom in a 7. Oof. Rough times, huh? It is a rare, though. Yeah, it is a rare. I think people forget about that a lot. There's a lot of good rares in the Diamond and Pearl era. We got the Eevee, which I'm not sure why it says DP4 up there. I'm wondering if maybe this is in both TP4 and, or yeah, in both TP4, in both Moonlit and Dawn Dash. I don't know. That actually probably would make sense since the Glaceon, I think, is in one and Leafy on the other. But got the Eevee in a 7 too. Pretty yikes on that, but it's a card that someone would pick up for like grading price and they'll be happy. We got Scyther, 9. We got the Vaporeon in a 10. So we got the Vaporeon and the Jolteon. Got Mewtwo in a 10. Celebi. Timeless Celebi, to be exact. 10th movie promo in a 6. Oof. I guess we'll do a little examining on this one. See what uh, I missed. It's on the case. It's on the case. I think, yeah. About the back. I don't know. I'm sure if I cracked it out, there'd be something. You know, I always say that. I wonder if I can crack this by hand quick. Should we try it? I guess I can't say it and then not do it, right? Well, here's, here's hoping I don't cut myself. Ooh, I used to be able to crack these. I guess I'm getting weak. Maybe not, guys. I used to be able to crack these with one or uh, with two hands. I guess I could, but I'm also I'm also being very timid too because I really don't want to hurt myself. Maybe it's not a good idea to do that, or is it? Because I just looked over to my right, and I have accidentally brought a pliers in the house that I had in my pocket from out in the garage. <sighs> yeah, let's do it live. I'm actually curious. Um, normally I don't crack stuff. This is gonna end up having to get sold raw, but. Um, yeah, let's crack it quick. I'm going to crack it in the trash. See what's wrong with it. See if there's something through the case or... Maybe you, know, you never know. Maybe it's a regrade. Who knows? Oh, yeah. Cracking that. I'm going to get so many comments of... Oh, man, you couldn't even crack that with your bare hands. You're right. I couldn't crack with my bare hands. Because I don't have bare hands. Get it? Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Come on now. Oh man, it's gonna be like this. There's so many people clicking off the video. They're like, man, what a, what an idiot at this point. And I don't really blame you. Can I get in there? Oh man. Yeah, you see, this is what happens when you don't prepare for something. You decide to go off the course and you decide to do something that wasn't planned. <sighs> Gotta follow through at this point, too, right? Because, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna go back and re record everything because that would just be too much work. Come on, man. Give a guy a break. You guys are like, oh my god, I'm about to see some blood and gore, and it's possible. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right, we should be on free now. Yeah. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Just for, Oh, no, we're not cooking if we did that. Just for the record, uh, if you guys watch my crack video, I do pretty well at this usually. Um, this was just spur of the moment. Oh, no. We did a bad thing, guys. We did a bad thing. 
at least this will provide you for some entertainment slash comedy um, and what not to do when cracking a PSA card. I mean, oh, actually, we might be all right here. Oh, yeah, buddy. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Finish down the side here. Come on. Come on, little buddy. Yeah. There you go, little buddy. There we are. All right. Well, that was eventful. That was something. Um... I don't know. I guess we'll see in a sec here. <sighs> I didn't really think about it. That's probably fairly loud. My wife's probably upstairs like, what the heck is he doing? Don't you worry about it, wife. If you watch this video, don't you worry. Um, I don't know, guys. I think maybe I saw like a... What am I doing? This is like... I'm so stupid. Like... I literally do these videos all the time. I love zooming in, and I continuously forget that I, I can zoom in. It looks like up here. I don't know if you can see it from the front. Man, we wasted a lot of time on this, right? Yeah, I might want to wanna fast forward. Well, I guess I can't warn you now. Should have warned you earlier. You're here for the stay, though, right? If you're here, you're here for the stay. You don't know. Oh, well... That's a key indicator or something right there. I don't know if that was from... I don't think that was from Crack. Oh, well, maybe it's from Crack, and I don't really remember it while we were doing it, but I don't know. Right here, if you look, when you shimmer that on there, you see a little wave right here at the corner? You can kind of see it straight across. I'm thinking that might be like a slight bend that for whatever reason you can't... can't. It doesn't look like it, but it does. And from the front... I don't know. From the front, actually, I can't see it now. See that? See it right here around the, above the HP? Just a little bend. Other than that, it's a clean card, though. This is what I mean, though. Guys, if you want a six and you want cheap cards that you just want the card, like, this is a six. I mean, yeah, you got that little dot of whitening. Yeah, it has some, ooh, as I go like that and freak out, it has some secret uh, creepy bend thing up there that you actually can't really tell just, like, looking face at the card. But if you, if you want, like, the card and you don't have a lot of money, you don't need to buy the 10. Buy the low grade. Don't be upset having a low grade. If anyone gives you crap for having a low grade, uh, well, I could say a lot of things about a person like that. But we, we, we can't say those words here. But just know, you're, you're all right if you, if you own low grades. Collect the cards. Enjoy them. Don't worry about what other people think. But, yeah. I don't know. That's, that's basically that. That was, that was something. We got real sidetracked there. Um, I thought this video was going to get done in a fairly decent fashion, but now, uh, no, probably not. But I'm going to take a sip of my drink here. Mmm. I have some cranberry juice. I know that sounds like an old person thing. Uh, I like cranberry juice. All right. Now that we've gotten very sidetracked, moving on. We have Seven Nights Jirachi, also from the 10th movie. We won't be cracking this one. Now I'm going to get so much crap. Oh, you can't crack with your hands. And then I'm going to have to do a video of it. And then after I crack one with my hands and splinter my fingers and my, my palms all up, I'll be like, why did I need to do that to prove it to anybody? But all right, we got Palkia Level X, 9. Got Raichu from the Entry Pack, 9. Meiji Promo, Palkia, 9. This is a cool one. This uh, this promo you don't see too often. It's the Beginner's Classroom promo. What is it? Zero, seven, two. But pretty... I think these are pretty rare promos overall. Got, got the nine on this one. It's all center. It's what it deserved. But um, don't see them too, too often. There's a, obviously Churchwig, Chimchar, and Piplup. We got the Spring Battle Road nine. Love this card. We got the McDonald's Palkia in a ten. And, ah, that's right, we got a couple keepers coming up here, I forgot. So, graded these, they are not sequential, but graded these into your subs. Um, we got the Leafeon Winter Challenge and the Glaceon Winter Challenge promo. Um, and I know it sounds, sounds kind of weird to keep something like this, like, but the Winter Challenge was where the Pearl was given out, and Mysterious Pearl to be exact, if you don't know what that is, look it up. But, um, I don't know, it's like the same event, 
these usually come in hollow and as the promos are not hollow i don't know i just there's something about them and i just happened to grade both of them in 10 and it just kind of feels right to keep these just it's kind of how i go about things it's just in the moment if it feels right uh, that's how we how we kind of roll with it but i'm gonna keep these guys I need some cool promo additions to the collection. I feel like these are probably fairly low pop overall, but I could be wrong. Yeah, pretty excited about those. Put those aside for myself. We have some Rotoms up next from Bonds the End of Time. These have the Sparkle Hollow. We got Mo Rotom 8. Heat Rotom 8. Got the Raichu GL 9. Luxray level X, 9. Damn, look at the hollow crazy on that. We have... Oh, it's sticking. Okay, there we go. We got the Arcanine, 10. I always really like this one. Uh, we've seen this... You, you've had to have seen this card probably like 10, 15 times now graded on this channel, which is kind of wild. But we got the Jirachi, Bonds the End of Time, 10. I don't know how I ended up with so many of those. I just did. All right, we got Cry from the Mysterious up next. We got the nine Dragonite. Nice swirl on this guy. We got the 10 on the Kyogre. We got the Galactic's Conquest up next. We got five on the Electabuzz. And no, I'm not going to crack this one. <clears throat> I don't know what's wrong with it. There's some whiting and stuff in these. These are also notorious. I've talked about it before, but you can see it on this. The chipping on the front of these. Something with the way the hollow, like the foiling was done on, on them. I don't know what it is, but the corners, it's, it's really rare. Even on a lot of the 10s from this era that have this sparkle hollow, uh, a lot of times you'll see some of that chipping just because it, I think sometimes it goes unnoticed. And I think sometimes they know that these are prone to that. I don't know. But you'll see some 10s like that, and it's rare to see a absolutely flawless copy in this foiling. We have Scyther up next in the 9. Do a little zoom in on him, see if there's any chipping on this one. Mm, doesn't appear to be. Low battery, I don't like that. Next up we have Dialga G, 9. Shaman level X, 9. We have Galactus Conquest Gyarados G, 9. It's a really nice card. We have Temple of Anger up next. We got the 8 on the Luxray. Pull another stack over here. Got Meowth, 9. Kingdra, 9. It's a really nice card, actually. Jumping right into the PSA 10 Kingdra as well. Ooh, even better on this one. We got the Swirl. Swirl! All right, we can't start doing that. I don't want to be one of those yelling YouTube guys. Can't be doing that. Got Raichu Level X, 8. Scyther Stormfront, 9. Behind that, the Evolution. We got Scizor, 9. Shaman, 9. Voltorb, 9. Do a quick check on these corners, too, to see if I can... And I love that I said that, and now I'm not seeing very much chipping on, on these. It's like, oh, we're going to spite you and make you look like an idiot, because, you know, you already look like an idiot after you tried to crack a card with your bare hands and couldn't. So, ooh, 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 see, 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 I told you. A little bit of chipping up there. Little chipping down here, chipping there. And that's why, I mean, a rather, other than, you know, normally flawless card, we'll get the nine. But yeah, really nice nine on the Charmander. And we also got the Charmeleon in a nine. Unfortunately, no Charizard in this, this sub. Man, I don't know what it is about that one, but they must have overbaked it on the, on the sparkles on this one. Typically, you don't see it that well on camera. Ooh, extra sparkly. Like that. We have Heat Ran Level X, got the 10. Nice card. Ooh, two nice ones coming up too. We got the Magic Harp in 10. Nice Kamiya artwork. 
Then we also got the sequential Gyarados in 10. Unfortunately, one's first, one's unlimited, but still a very nice Gyarados. This one's pretty nice too. We got the Luxio 10. This is from the Red Gigas half deck. I don't know, just a really nice artwork. Ooh, nice sparkly one here. We got the 10 on the Giratina half deck hollow. Man, look at this thing. This thing's nuts. Just goes crazy. Got these crazy, like, spiral swirl things, orbs everywhere. I mean, this thing is just, this thing's nuts. Maybe this is the thumbnail. I don't know. Kind of hard to beat that, right? Sheesh, that's good. Nice card. Move some stacks around here quick. We're uh, running out of room. All right, there we go. Got Vespa Queen 9 from the Glade Half Deck. Um, Yon Mega 4, 9. And my last stack aside here. I was like, oh, come on now. There we go. There we go. All right, we got Heracross, 9. Espeon, 9. It's funny, this is all from the Glade half. Part of the that deck is Glade and Infernape, and I think most of the Glade side got 9s. Um, looks slightly off-center, but kind of interesting, I think, because I think the Infernape side got 10s. Kind of weird. We got the Mr. Mime... Four in a nine as well. Oh, come on now. Oh, and then I say that, and then the Infernape side's nines too. We've got Infernape, yeah, Infernape half deck. Infernape half side. Jesus. All right, we got Rhyperior four. Okay, Rhyperior. That's his name. I know it now. Okay, Rhyperior four. Infernape half deck. We got Flareon in the nine as well, and then we did get a few tens from this side. We got the Houndoom 4. He's uh, looking a little weird there. You're like, bleh. Kind of tough to do a bad Houndoom card, but I'll tell you what, Fakuda, you uh, you tried. You tried. It's not terrible, but... We got the Infernape then as well, like I said, from that deck in the 10 as well. Swirly on that. Right, we got some promos up next. We got the PSA 9. I always love this card. Uh, the Quiz Rally Pikachu. Not sure what it is exactly, but just always love this one. May, uh, may, this one isn't doing it, but at some point might throw one of these in the collection. We got the Giratina, the Real World's Giratina. Uh, 10. Got the Empoleon Level X, Shining Darkness release campaign promo. Diamond and Pearl in a 10. This is a cool one, too. I don't know what the pop is on this, but we got Buizel, Gym Challenge Collection, 10. Blaziken Level X, 8. Man, this one goes pretty hard, doesn't it? Bulbasaur, 9. We have Advent of Arceus up next. We got the Pichu in an 8. Raichu in an 8. Kind of a chonky looking right you there, huh? Man. Yeah. He'd be thick. Be a thick boy. We got the Charmeleon in a nine. Kabutops in a nine. Never really thought it or noticed it before until the other day, but we got Almastar hanging out right behind him. I wonder if there's an Almastar that has him right behind him. It'd be uh, interesting to see. I'm messing around with this again. I'm getting this light bulb thing to pop up again. I don't think it does anything, but it stops me from zooming in and zooming out, Evie. Got the Heat Ran from Advent 10. Crazy artwork. This reminds me of one of the new ones. Is it Shinji Kanata is one of the newer artists that does the crazy artworks. Kind of reminds me a little bit of his style. Not quite as wild, but uh, same kind of vibe to me. Got the Zapdos G in a 10. Big boy then, got the Charizard in a 10. Not, definitely not my favorite Charizard. Um, it's weird that it's a Jimeno because I just feel like it's hard to say you don't like a Jimeno, but it, it, this is definitely a weaker artwork in my opinion, especially for Jimeno. 
All right, next up, we got the Charizard half deck, which actually is the rest of the cards here. All these are from the Charizard half. We got Cyrus's Initiative in the nine. Switch in the nine. With Lucario and Turtwig hanging out. We got... Come on now. All right, now we're, we're having problems. Okay. We got the Sable IG in a 10. Manectric G, 10. Did pretty well on this one. Uh, we got the Charizard G, Hollow, 10. I actually like this one. It looks pretty cool. Who did this? Rotaro Kawahara. I don't really know, but kind of like it. Got Camera Up G, 10. What's going on with his humps there? It looks like, I almost looked there were numbers there for a sec. I had to look. Uh, we got Arcanine G, 10. And to finish this sub out, we have your boy, Big Charizard G, Level X, Breathing Hot Fire. Ooh, that's cool. Swirl in the Fire. Oh, man. What's that, like a 20X premium, obviously? <laughs> nah, I mean, that's a good, it's a good card. I like the Level Xs a lot. I think they're good. Uh, I should probably do, like, a... Kind of cool to do a binder of them, but, like, do... I don't know. <laughs> like 12 copies of each or something it'd be kind of sweet maybe we'll do that at some point i don't know they're still affordable so now would be the time but don't worry i'll wait till they're expensive that'd be that's the smart move but yeah cool cards yeah overall this portion of the sub and the three subs in general were uh really good overall can't complain did uh did well did well I like to use that word right yeah um got our uh Memento from this this video. Got the Celebi and the the tag when you got to see me obviously um bare hand that case and rip it in half and to shreds. It was all me, not the pliers, but <laughs> oh man. I'm I'm never gonna hear the end of that. I hope none of my buddies watch this video or else I'm definitely gonna catch some flack for that one but it is what it is I'm, I'm i'm not ashamed i'm i'll post it we ain't got no no shame here no issue with it gotta humiliate yourself every once in a while but yeah good sub overall can't complain the stuff will get listed up here soon but yeah as always like subscribe comment down below or don't but either way i'll catch you in the next one thanks for watching guys appreciate you